How would you describe your particular style? I don't know. Um, style by Sprouse. In the 1980s, Stephen Sprouse was a friend and favorite of New York icons like Keith Haring, Debbie Harry, and Andy Warhol. Stephen began his work in fashion at age 14 as an intern for Bill Blass and later landed a job as an assistant to Halston. But 1983 saw the launch of his first collection and he became the darling of the downtown street fashion scene. I like Stephen's clothes, I wear them. I mean, it's one of the only American designers that has a sense of humor but also is making interesting things and contemporary. I mean, there's, there's very little happening on the fashion scene in New York and it's one of the only interesting things. I mean, it's imagination and a sense of humor at the same time. I used to like to wear things that were utilitarian in a way, you know, that were form and function. And I think that that's something that fashion has to be very conscious of. That's one of the reasons I like Stephen's clothes. What do you see as like the line between fashion and art? They're so blurred together with art and music and fashion and popular culture. <laughs> Though his line had its ups and downs financially throughout the years. In 2001, Sprouse was invited to collaborate on a line of accessories for Louis Vuitton by creative director Mark Jacobs. His day glow graffiti art enhanced fabrics, handbags, and luggage for the luxury label and resulted in a resounding success for the house. Steven Sprouse did all the roses along with our team at Louis Vuitton. We all worked together and we worked by photographing digitally roses, cutting up roses. He made roses with magic markers. Well, it was just really fun. It was Mark's idea to do the luggage and do the graffiti, so I went to Paris and did it. It was great. Sprouse's untimely death in 2004 at the age of 50 was a tragedy, but his work continues to live on and inspire. In 2009, in a celebratory revival, the House of Louis Vuitton released a limited edition collection featuring Sprouse's graffiti and rose prints. And in conjunction, a retrospective was held at New York's Deitch Projects entitled Rock on Mars. It's a great celebration of Stephen's art and his fashion, his sensibility, his aesthetic. You know, I was so grateful that I got to collaborate with Stephen and his work will always live for me and I'm just glad that it'll get to live for a lot of other people too this way. I think Stephen Sprouse, his influence continues and it evolves um, as the years go by. I think the sort of playfulness of street fashion, street ideas, married to an extraordinary sort of aesthetic mind, I think that that's been very important and, and he might have been one of the first people to really put it out on the runway at a time in which fashion was being noticed and recorded as part of mainstream culture. I think that the playfulness of his clothes, the color palette, the graphics, they're extremely modern pieces. It's like he took all that we learned from punk and that Vivian Westwood had been doing in England and he did his very New York version of it, you know? And I think that's invaluable. We thought it was a unique opportunity to use all the, the work that Stephen did in 2000 for us. And we are so excited because uh, this exhibition, uh, our collaboration, the book which was published, all that is uh, showing to the world who was Stephen, how great he was. And I think tonight is, is with us.